You're probably at times wondering with frustration, how did you get into all this legal mess? Uh, were you really birthed this way? Um, or did you uh, somehow do this to yourself? Uh, cause and effect, truth versus consequences. Uh, it really does require an effort for someone to enter into this. That's why minors generally are protected in law um, that until they reach age of election, they're not usually by the law held accountable. There's the odd exception in the legal world, but uh, uh, generally they're, any record that they had prior is sealed at age of election and then they're at 18 moving forward to get themselves into all the legal trouble they can by license. So anyways, uh, we're dealing with what did you do to get into this? Well, did you speak to get into this? Was it what you spoke or did you sign? Now, interestingly, when we use the word sign, we talk about sign language, it usually relates to people um, that by an unfortunate uh, circumstance may have been born deaf, they can't hear physically. But we're talking about spiritual deafness now uh, on the subject matter today. Um, are you spiritually deaf? Uh, and are you adhering to scripture when it says those with ears to hear and of course eyes to see? So if we're spiritually deaf, that means we're not listening uh, to the scripture of God's word that's speaking to us all individually, giving us correction and counsel. So the uh, state, of course, um, has you enter into that spiritual deafness, entering into legal uh, dumb behavior through signing. So you notice that uh, none of the documents speak. <laughs> You sign them, and so you're kind of using almost like a legal deaf sign language that only initiates the contract into being, and that's why they want your life signature or heartbeat on that flat line all the time when you're signing. So you look back at Scripture. You can't find any evidence of Jesus signing any legal contracts with the Romans. You can't find any evidence of the early Christians signing or the apostles signing any contracts. So why are you signing? Is there any evidence that you should have signed something with the state? That was clearly um, a separation between the world of the governments of man and the followers of Jesus Christ. They certainly showed that they were not involved in any manner um, engaging or interfering with the legal matters of the Roman state or any of the other governments that were there. So uh, we have to be very careful. We're going to look at just the, the meanings of, of these words for a moment. So we're going to take it very simply. So I'm going to take you into a dictionary and we'll, we'll look at the, look at the word deaf. Just bear with me for a second. Lost our little place in here. You can tell these are not prepared videos. We're just doing this as simple as possible to show that you just have to do your research and uh, take your time. And I'm not going to get frustrated the way the video is going. So hopefully you are not. And hopefully uh, you have as much patience as possible. Then you could be a good healer because you'll have many patients. Um, deaf. Totally or partially unable to hear. Unwilling to hear or listen. Giving no heed. So we take that, this is just simply a description that's, uh, it's in a dictionary telling you, are you just refusing to take heed from the Bible? So uh, we'll look at the word dumb. Like, you know, certainly don't want to accuse anybody of being a dummy. But uh, unfortunately, sometimes actions speak louder than words. And so if you're acting in the world of legal, you could be acting as how the dictionary describes it here. It says, dummy is an imitation or sham. Substitute for the real thing. Now remember that the 
at least the Canadian gauge dictionary that's in all the schools, it's one of the publishers, uh, defines surname as a name added to one's real name, which would infer the fact that the name that you're operating with in positive law as the additive name or the positive law name, the surname, is not real. So we're going to clarify back to dummy. Remember, it's an imitation or a sham, a substitute for the real thing. So now we're going to go to just the law books. Here's Black's third. I'm sure you'll find it in the others. Uh, dummy. A sham is an adjective, make-believe, pretended imitation. Uh, dummy as a noun. One, one, it's like an individual who holds legal title for another. Are you holding legal title? There's no other way the state could actually operate this. They need to transfer legal title onto a willing party who will take the assignment. So you, by taking on the legal title, title would be acting as a dummy. So just remember that, that's a legal dummy. And so we have to research the words we have to open our eyes but also we have to open our ears so we take heed uh, from the knowledge that's laying right before us